Edson Alvarez to West Ham. This seems like a very new rumor, right? The the previous Premier League links for Edson were Newcastle and Chelsea. Now it seems like West Ham are getting in there probably because they are absolute booty and need all the help that they can get in the midfield. Before I say anything else, if you like videos about the Mexican national team in English, I told you I was going to make these transfer videos. Hit the subscribe button, stick around. We'd love to have you. Anyways, let me start with the positives of this move. A big positive is the fact that this is a Premier League team, right? There's no better exposure. There's no better place outside of, quite honestly, the World Cup or maybe like a Champions League semifinal to showcase your ability and to put on for your country than in the Premier League. If Edson Alvarez goes to West Ham and balls out, it will make more English clubs, both in the Prem and the Championship, Look at Liga Mekis and be like, yep, more of these, we got to get more of these guys over here. A very similar proof of concept that's happening right now is, this is a bit of a side thing, but bear with me, is the Scottish League, where we see Celtic now having five or maybe even six Japanese players on the roster. And these Japanese players are not getting them over there so that they can sell jerseys in Tokyo or so that some anime studio will make an anime about the rise of Celtic football. No, they're getting them because these guys are goddamn ballers. They're winning Celtic games. They're winning them trophies. And the conveyor belt just keeps coming, baby. And mark my words, as Celtic begins to sell these Japanese players to other leagues, other leagues are going to be like, hmm... Maybe, maybe Japan does have a lot of talent. Now back to Mexico, if Edson can do this and have success in the Premier League, that would be huge for like a Mexican legacy perspective. There's not a lot of successful Mexicans in the Prem. There's just not. It pains me to say that. I wish I was wrong. I wish there was like 30 examples that we could choose from, but that's simply not true. A second big positive is I think that it would give Edson the chance to shut up a lot of the haters who say that he's only good because he's playing in the Eredivisie. If he goes to the Prem and is even 80% as good as he is right now for Ajax, I think he silences all the doubters. And I think the last major positive that I want to say is West Ham, at least on paper, their roster, but also as a club, have a lot of potential. Okay, they do have buying power. This is a big club in the Premier League. They are seriously underperforming right now, and I'm going to get into my negatives in a sec. But once they get, probably David Moyes out of there, get in a new manager and start actually performing to their potential, this is a very good team. And we will probably see Edson, hopefully, playing in some European nights again for this West Ham side. That's a long shot, but it's a possibility and it's a positive. Now on the negatives, West Ham right now, there's no other way to say it. They are trash. They are a trash team. Most of the players have completely forgotten how to play football. Even Declan Rice doesn't look that good. Probably the only player I would say right now for West Ham who's balling out is Ben Rama. I mean, the rest of the team, I truly don't know what's happening. If I had to guess, David Moyes has just simply lost the locker room and that's why they're not performing well. And while it is unlikely, the threat of relegation is a very real thing. There is a very real chance that Edson could sign for West Ham and they could not make it out of the basement and go down to the championship. I don't have any doubt that they would come up the next season, but still, we don't want Mexico's best player going to a team which then gets relegated. It doesn't matter that Edson's only coming in in January or whatever it would be. The optics simply look terrible. The other negative is that the Premier League is really difficult. And will Edson Alvarez be able to come over and perform in the most physically demanding football league? I think that he can. And in fact, if he is Declan Rice's replacement, I think that is damn near a like for like switch. I think that he can come in and maybe in a game or two, fully integrate into that system. Now, West Ham needs a lot of help around him. Thomas Suchek looks like he's completely done. Uh, Kufal's washed. Uh, uh, Cresswell's washed. Like I said, there's a lot of washed players. West Ham needs a, a revitalization. And if if Edson Alvarez is the only player that they're going to bring in to try to right the ship, I think they're going to be disappointed. And I think Edson's going to catch the flack for that. And it's not going to be fair. They need to get an Edson. They need to get another goddamn fullback and probably an attacking midfielder. If they do that, if Edson comes over as kind of like a package, a package deal of a couple players to West Ham, I think it would be a great move. I like this move a lot more than I liked the move to Newcastle because I just wasn't sure at the time like how Bruno Guimaraes was going to play. Would Edson get starts? Same thing with Chelsea. I was thinking, okay, they already have Kovacic, who I think is world-class and one of the best holding midfielders in the world. Do we really want Mexico's best player to go to Stamford Bridge and absolutely battle to get any game time 
with Chelsea. That sounded like a nightmare to me. So if Chelsea have moved on for Ed, from Edson, excellent. Let's shoot off some fireworks and have a fiesta. That sounds great because I don't want him going there. West Ham, if they can just stop bottling it every single weekend, five losses in a row, then I think it's a good move. The last thing that has to be said about this is what we say about every single Mexican transfer, and that's Edson Alvarez is 25 years old. So if he doesn't make the move now to the Prem, it's never going to happen. I, I fully believe that. If he does not move to West Ham or Chelsea or Spurs or Southampton this year, I think the biggest move we'll see him make is somewhere to La Liga or Serie A, unfortunately. You guys let me know your opinion, though. I'm in favor of this move. I think it'd be good. But if you guys feel otherwise, if you feel some kind of way, let me know in the comments. I always like talking to other Mexico fans. And if you want to see more videos about the Mexican national team in English, hit that subscribe button, man. And leave a like on the video, too, if you enjoy. It takes like half a second. Maybe not even if you're fast with the mouse. If you're really nice with it, you could you could probably do it pretty quick. Why did I say mouse like you guys are watching on a PC? You guys are definitely watching on your phones. If you're nice with if you're quick with a thumb game, you play a lot of COD or something, too, you could definitely do it like a quarter of a second. Um, and check out our socials down below. I don't really plug that like ever, but we're trying to get the, the snowball rolling with that. So we'd appreciate it if you guys could help us, you know, push that thing down the hill. You know what I mean? I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video.